so hello guys welcome back so in this video session we will discuss about the runtime parameters in the eml pipelines you know the parameters and how we can pass the parameters in the eml pipelines that we will see in this video session so with the runtime parameters what we can do so first let's understand the runtime parameters with the runtime parameters we can supply the different values to the script and the task at the runtime suppose you have the conditions there you want to select some values at the runtime so in that case you can go with the runtime parameters second is we can control the parameter types ranges allowed and the default values so you can define the types suppose you have the parameters of the string type so you can define the type and the parameter will accept only the strings when it's a boolean value it can accept the boolean and you can also define the range suppose 1 to 100 100 to 500 and default also there dynamically select the jobs and the stages with the template expressions so the runtime parameters define the type range and the defaults these are the three category where we will use the runtime parameters and that is specific to the type range and the defaults and once we define these things we can pass the parameters to the yaml pipeline the runtime parameters and we can pass to the yaml pipelines and yaml pipelines have the choice and selections okay. that we will see through the demo the runtime parameters does not apply to the classic pipelines so you make sure that the runtime parameters it's not applicable to the classic pipeline that means when you create a pipeline through the classic editor that time the runtime parameter will not work it is only applicable for the eml pipeline format now understand the define the parameters in the eml pipelines okay. so how to define the parameters first we will see the parameter must contain a name and the data type so when you define a parameter it must have a name and the data type a parameter cannot be optional a default value needs to be assigned in a yaml file when we run the pipeline if we do not assign a default value set default to false the first available value will be used that we will see through the example Parameter selection in the YAML defines what parameters are available. So let's understand through this example. So the parameter must contain a name and the data type. So this is the parameter. This is called as the keyword. This is the parameter keyword. And by using this keyword, we can define the parameters in the YAML pipelines. Like that, the variables we define through the variables keyword. In the same manner, we define the parameters with the parameters keyword. So parameters are defined with this keyword and now we need to provide the name of that parameter. So how hyphen then dash and the name and after the name we provide the name of the parameter. So here the name of the parameter is the image. What will be the display name? The pool image. Now what is the default? Okay. So a default value needs to be assigned. So a default is the make all latest. Okay. And what will be the type? So parameter must contain a name and the data type. So the data type will be the string. So whatever parameters we define under the images, it will be in the string format. And these are the values. And the values hyphen dash windows latest hyphen dash ubuntu latest. So these are the two values which comes under this parameter. And if we do not assign a default value when with the default value is not assigned suppose the default is not present by default it will take the windows latest because this is the first one value defined under these parameters so the first available value will be used it is saying the statement the windows latest will be selected the parameter section in the yaml define what parameters are available so when you define these parameter sections it will tell what parameters are available so this is the way how we can define the parameters in the yaml format 
this is the parameter keyword this is the name of the parameters the default should be there and the type of the parameters and these are the values okay now how to access the parameters in the yaml5 this is the definitions and how we can define now we want to access so parameters are accessed just before the pipeline run when we run the pipeline that time we need to define the access of this parameters so that values sounded by the dollar and these are the curly braces are replaced with the parameter values <coughs> so this is the syntax so this is the dollar curly braces and the parameters so parameters is the keyword so now we will take this parameters as a keyword and the name of this parameter is the image so this will provide the parameter name and these values will be the selections so we can select these values at the runtime now let's define these parameters in the yaml pipeline through the demo so for that i will go to the dev.azure.com account and under that i'm going to create a new pipeline <coughs> So this is the Azure Pipeline 26 YAML file and now you can remove other things okay. as it is now re remove the master and now we will put the none this means there is no automatic trigger will happen now the pull image is the VM image okay. now but this pull we want to select based on our choice so let's define some parameters so you can come down here and you can provide the P so that it will give you the selection parameters now you can provide the name of the parameters so here we have the image image is the name of the parameters so this is the first image name of the parameter now display name now you will have the options so now display name will be the full image now what will be the default so in the default what you want to provide so here it is a mac os hyper latest so we will take the same thing mac os latest like the ubuntu latest we have the mac os latest so this is the default this we are getting the error you can provide this space now we we need to provide the type so this is the string type okay so the type will be the string format yeah this will be in the small letters so the string will be in the small letters now we need to provide the values so under that type you can change the values colon now come hyphen dash first values windows latest second value what you can do you can say the ubuntu latest okay now again you can copy this one you have the ubuntu latest okay so like that we define the one parameters and this pull image I am going to remove because the pull image I am going to select at the runtime. Yeah. So the parameter which I am going to pass is the name of the image, display name, pull image, default type of the string and these are the values. Now you save the pipeline. Okay now try to run this pipeline okay. now you can see the pull images are the two these are values two if you provide the one more values you it will give you the options here so this define the parameter selection at the runtime now we want to run on the windows latest machine or on the ubuntu latest machine so it's depend on the runtime parameters okay so you can select the windows or ubuntu if you are not going to select anyone it will take by default the default operating system if this is the valid operating system which is supported by the azure pipelines and azure cloud directory then it will run on the default one otherwise you can select one of 
them. So now I'm want to run suppose on the Windows latest. So I'm going to run this one. So let me run this script on the Windows latest and let's see it will run or not. Okay, so now you can see the job is executed successfully. Now let's see the output. So it is saying the hello world. So whatever parameters we define it's working. Okay, and the parameter selection is also done and the job is executed on the Windows machine. Okay, now uh, let's see how we can run this one on the Ubuntu latest machine. Okay, now let's run and select the Ubuntu latest and when you run this job again so now the job is executed on the ubuntu latest okay and the same output we got on the ubuntu latest also so like that we can define the parameters and we can make the choices for the users to select the values